Hello everyone, it's Wednesday the 24th of November. Uh, here we are right at the end of November heading into December. Soon, you know, I don't know about you, but as soon as I hit December, it feels like Christmas is literally just around the corner. Um, uh, and uh, that sense of urgency to get things sorted um, uh, begins to happen. Of course, this time last year it was very different. Um, the whole feel of things was very different because we were being given messages about what was going to be permissible at Christmas. And then, in a sense, Christmas, in the way that so many of us had planned it, didn't happen because of, uh, of, of increased restrictions. Uh, and, and then we entered into that long period after Christmas and into the first part of 2021 uh, that was dominated by a national lockdown and then the kind of uh, rollout of the vaccination program, that first bit, and uh, the challenges of how to uh, how we would kind of emerge um, uh, into less restrictions. And of course, uh, we've seen the uh, uh, the lessening uh, um, uh, of 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 many many restrictions. Um, uh, are those that. Uh, uh, we're responding to at the moment are kind of in a sense voluntary and um, and we're choosing to um, uh, to to be restricted in certain areas to help and bless others um, to be of help um, and safety to uh, in, in in other people's lives so here we are and it's been such a mixture of a time um, uh, you know looking back uh, uh, you know, constantly managing change, different types of change, uh, adapting and, and adjusting all the time, all of us experiencing that. And of course, it's no, um, uh, you know, there's no different for us as, as a church, as a church of churches, as a, in a network. Um, and across all the churches that I'm in contact with, uh, um, well beyond uh, a Bridlington area, um, everyone's kind of meeting the same challenges and issues, uh, you know, they, they, they manifest themselves in different ways, of course, in different contexts. But, you know, what a time we continue to be in as we try and work out ways forward, whilst also taking into account the fact that we are not yet out of uh, this pandemic. Uh, and I, be, I found myself thinking a lot about momentum, uh, and so we hit we, we hit September uh, twenty twenty one with the intention of just getting things going again, kind of coming back into in person gatherings, uh, you know, adjusting down the amount of kind of dependence we were having upon online things, um, uh, trying to get the kind of balance right between online and in person, pr trying to work out how to enable people to gather together safely, all those kinds of things we, 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 we headed into, we made some decisions, we'll just get on with some things. Um, and, um, uh, and, and, you know, that's been good, it's been good to reconnect, it's not the same um, uh, let's be real about all this. It's you know we are still we're still in this kind of peculiar time, and it kind of it means that uh, um, uh, the things, the ways in which we were functioning before, the gatherings we were in, the relationships that, that are often were kind of were clearly marked out in those gatherings. So much has changed about that. Um, and when we're coming back together again, we're coming back in different groupings, different dynamics, different relationships. Um, uh, we've had lots of movement, lots of people kind of, you know, uh, making decisions and adjusting and all of us have done that and our habits have been broken um, from just kind of turning up uh, for, um, uh, for gatherings together and that sort of thing to being maybe more thoughtful about what we do and how we're involved and, you know, a whole load of things. Uh, we're just continuing to work with. So this whole period of time from September through to now and kind of heading into Christmas is is really a, a time of just kind of continuing to kind of, you know, work out the how to be in these times um, uh, and, and, and how to adjust and, and, and really how to build, rebuild momentum because 
in a sense with lockdowns and everything like that uh, uh, m the momentum of life was slowed and almost stopped um, uh, and, um, and 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 so you know we're kind of gradually building the, the speed of life up again uh, the, the speed of living in a sense but um, still some way from full-on that kind of feeling of full-on momentum in life so you know I don't know if this makes sense I hope it does uh, but I think you know we're in this kind of you know this still in a very challenging time of working that out um, and and kind of two things I want to say in relation to this uh, one is that um, nothing that we are doing now even now in, in this time is as it will be so nothing we're doing now is as it will be you know we're going to have to continue adjusting and adapting in all of our different contexts across the across the network and you know we're going to have to continue adjusting and adapting um, in our personal lives and our you know and and and, and, and going forward um, let's keep reminding ourselves of that and, and giving our permi ourselves permission um, and each other permission to be people who are in a state of of adjustment and adaptation you know we're kind of regaining some momentum um, and that takes time and you know it takes a lot of little adjustments and you know decisions that we make as we go along um, uh, and, and we'll just have to keep doing that so just kind of bear that in mind um, uh, things that we're doing on Sunday mornings Sunday evenings um, uh, during the week uh, ministry wise worship wise whatever they are um, uh, in many ways they are just the beginning of the return to the, the momentum to the next thing that um, to, to, to the next things that God is leading us into um, and um, uh, and so bear with it so nothing we're doing is as it will be is a really good thing to hold in your head and secondly uh, nothing has changed about God's faithfulness and I find this really helpful to bear in mind well both these things but especially that nothing has changed about God's faithfulness the pandemic didn't stop God's activity um, uh, the kingdom is constantly and always advancing uh, we are called to be part of that and to continue to 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 trust in 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 the faithful God who is constantly good constantly um, working out um, his mission his his um, his his you know his his vision uh, which is that there'd be uh, works of rebuilding and renewing and restoring happening um, in the life of this this world um, uh, amongst our lives and God is kind of just intent and faithful to his vision for um, uh, for the rebuilding and the renewing and the restoring of all things he just loves that it's it's he's got his eyes set on that his heart set on it he's faithful to that um, and so we can be encouraged by that that he's faithful God he you know he's he's still he's still God with us um, and still leading us on um, and uh, and so as we head kind of towards 2022 and there'll be more stuff that we do around what does next year look like um, uh, coming up soon um, uh, as well as more stuff about how we're going to do Christmas this year and kind of things that we're going to do throughout Christmas but you know as we uh, uh, as, as we kind of head through this period, period of time just just constantly be aware of God's faithfulness um, and that we are in a constantly adjusting adapting kind of time um, and that's okay uh, so I wanted to kind of give these words kind of some reassurance um, uh, and some challenge there uh, and um, uh, and thank you for bearing with things um, and for um, uh, and for keeping on trusting um, uh, and 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 keeping on supporting, and I, I, I feel the benefit of, of of you know really supportive words from people and encouraging words 
um, uh, because to be honest this isn't an easy time to lead um, and, um, and and so thank you for, for those of you who who have taken the time to kind of to give me personally some encouragement I do encourage you to all of you to do that to all of your leaders um, uh, because this is not an easy time to lead um, but together, if we trust in God's faithfulness and remember that what is happening now isn't necessarily what's going to be happening in the future, there's going to be continued adjustment and adaptation. If we remember those kind of things and hold those things together, um, you know what? I think we can be confident uh, and encouraged for all, all of us. So God bless you all um, and um, uh, uh, look out for ongoing updates um, uh, as, as we go on.